Ahoy, everyone, welcome aboard. I will be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. It's a mighty Lieutenant Rakeel at your service. And welcome back to the Sexy Brutale for the third time, I believe. Also, let's take that off. <laughs> I know it's a masquerade game, but. <laughs> oh. uh. I was just about to fire my laser. <laughs> no lasers indoors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And yeah, last time we managed to save a few more people. Though, well, since time keeps looping, uh, they'll, <laughs> they'll continue to uh, suffer the same fate a few more times as we try and figure out how to save the rest of them. And currently, yeah, we're in the library after, well... Get up. <clears throat> Let's see, last time we saved Willow. We uh, saved uh, Tequila, and we saved Clay and uh, Grayson. And now we're trying to save Thanos and Aurum. Though we haven't found out yet how they die. Clay and Grayson? Do you mean Red and Grayson? I was, uh, Red, with Clay... Was <laughs> Red and Clay are brothers, so I get, got them mixed up. Let's see. This shelf is filled with books on demonology. <laughs> is it like me or is that one a bit tilted? Nope. This shelf is filled with books on scripture. There's card in <laughs> there's a card between the books. <laughs> okay, scripture and demonology. Okay. Uh, yeah, all, all of the paintings here are a bit off, it seems. Let's I think it's see. supposed to be a reference to how many movies set in places like this usually have one or few crooked paintings, and they just went over with it. <laughs> uh, then again, the staff, well, there's only a very small amount of staff, and they're more busy murdering the, <laughs> the patrons than actually cleaning up. <clears throat> Let's see. Mass girl weeping over dice. It makes you uncomfortable. It is signed Carrington. We've seen this statue or variants of it a lot. Was this room a waiting, a waiting area? Waiting for what? Okay. Oh, hello. Another one already. Almost every room in the mansion seems to have areas to sit and talk. The top of the cabinet is lined with felt like a roulette table. Okay. A very different theme in this area, it seems. The smell of the plants fills the room. Hmm. Okay, we're going to need to find the key. Behind the curtains is just a blank wall. Perhaps these were uh, the perhaps these were doorways that were sealed up. Okay. Oh, hello there. What? What intonations is... Is that a giant one on Bennett? From the look of it. And of course, he's vanished. It's an urn made of delicate... Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll only find cards and such in these things. And so I think I heard the spin going just now. And that's the glass shattering. The paintings are uniformly bizarre and unsettling. The room is a glorious visual nightmare. And this... Oh, hello. A one card here and another one here. Stony fireplace, the embers are cold. Okay, now if we look at the map... Let's see. Yeah, this connects over to the guest rooms, and this hovers over the atrium, or however you call this. So we're finally above this area. Alright. Yeah, my mask burns as I approach the door. It's as though it's pushing me away. So yeah, there's no going that way. Ooh. I, okay, it's been a bit too long since last week there was one of these. 
Okay, one that goes that way. Oh, oh hello. Panels is around. Okay. The statue holds a deep secret. Lucas asked me to put secret mechanisms in place years ago. And as long as those mechanisms are still in place and you manage to reach the statues, then at 9.50 the way will open. Okay. <laughs> Hey, pizza lover, I'm doing fine. How about yourself? <laughs> hey, pizza. Uh... Oh, help. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, away. Uh, I think one of those two was holding a gun. The one that uh, the clockmaker was shot with. And looks like they're all heading into that room and just vanishing. Yeah, let's see. Pizza Lover. I'm good. Just been, I guess, pretty sad and lonely and many other things lately and been avoiding things. So I've been playing the games I've been avoiding. Okay. Uh, oh dear. Hmm? I'll offer you a hug uh, if I could. Someone lit the fireplace. And, oh, <laughs> this place is called the Heaven and Hell Fire uh, Staircase. Okay, Thanos isn't here at the moment? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, we'll have to continue exploring around. Let's see. Okay, that door just leads into there again. Let's see, pizza. I just see the word sex in it, so I'm already interested. What's the game about? Uh, basically, this game is uh, Groundhog Day if it was a murder mystery. Only, uh, well, everyone is getting murdered. All of these. And the murderers are the staff. And, oh, damn it. I didn't pay attention. We need to, well, try and not have them all get murdered. Okay, oh, hello. What was that noise? I think wanted to eavesdrop on the room, but missed something there. <laughs> Probably. Let's see. The white keys on the piano are carved from Scimitar Oryx Horn. The black keys are Busta Emmy Turtle Shell. Okay, that sounds illegal as all fuck. And there is Thanos, the, <laughs> the blueprint prince. Lucas, what has happened here? Where are you? Where are okay, you? Okay, he's heading back into the other room. Okay. The plant is covered with tiny needle sharp spines. Okay. Anything in here? Another burning door. And hello. The painting has a clear set of peepholes where the eyes would be. But there's something blocking the other side. It was also glowing blue for... Yeah, it's, it's glowing blue. What's up with that? Yeah, that's, that's kind of disturbing. I can hear footsteps that I way. From pizza lover. Oh, and I also spend like almost an entire hour trying to beat a goddamn bunch of colored pencils in Super Mario. Uh, Super Mario Wonder, you mean? The, the, the timing based level? Because I had a lot of trouble with that one as well. Let's see. Did you change all four statues? The bar, the library, the piano room here, and the entrance to the hall? Entrance hall. Must have missed that one. I don't think the statues have been set correctly. This is very much not ideal. Hmm? Ah, it opened. I did like you asked. Can't believe it worked, though. What did you say this thing used to be before you turned it into an elevator? It was part of the old furnace system. Furnace? What the hell are we doing climbing into a furnace, man? It's all been disconnected, of course. Look at how we create an entirely new and highly efficient heating network for the mansion. Are you sure it feels warm in here? It does. Oh no.
And that is how those two meet their end. Someone reconnected its uh, own components. Yeah. Also, or notice up here. Yeah. Are you? Oh, yeah. No, I know this. So yeah, I get oh, the reconnected missing. and reinstall the components. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, let's see. Pizza lover, ah, damn, freak you, auto mod, you party pooper. What, what did it trigger on? Uh, oh, I see. Uh, not sure how I can, not sure how I can affect the auto mods from the chat program I have on the side here. And yeah, whenever we hit midnight, time resets, and we need to, well, we need to try and fix things again. Uh, let's see. No Super, Super Mario Origami King, but now I am concerned there is more of those fucking colored pencils. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Let's just make that open. Wait, does this... Yeah, I think this connects back to the area we could... Yep, over here. Okay, we have nothing to gain here, though, I think. So we can... Go around through another damn fake <laughs> painting. Uh, let's see. But I am having fun playing that game. Uh, I know that Mario fans don't, or at least Paper Mario fans, don't really like that game. Since, well, they, they consider it inferior to the older <clears throat> games. Speaking of Mario RPG, that new, uh, that remake of... Uh, yeah, the remake of Super Mario R RPG should be out uh, now. I think it released yesterday. Enormous monument of a phoenix. A strange mechanism is blocking access to the doors behind. Let's see. Uh, but hey, I'm actually getting two new games, to, uh, or at least one on Christmas. Okay. Let's see. Bible. It opens at Revelations 21.8. <clears throat> but as... F uh, <clears throat> pardon? But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, the murderers, their time will be forever in the lake of blood that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the death eternal. Pleasant. The skeletal image is mesmerizing, haunting. You cannot get it out of your heads. Okay, we need to find the arm of this thing somewhere. So we need to go scouting around. Let's see, that's one of the... Oop. There's Thanos. Not the purple kind, though. Something is deeply rotten here. I will get to the bottom of it. The staff here. They are different this year. This is all wrong. First Arum, but not his judgment on the staff. Who's... Yeah. Oh, Mr. Gregor... Yeah, Gorecki. Are you lost, sir? You know the mansion can be a... I know the mansion can be a little overwhelming. Lost? Lost? My family designed and built this mansion, you little... Mm. I mean, of course I'm not lost. <laughs> of course not. Very good, sir. So we also pretend that you don't uh, know this area's unblemished guests? I'm looking for Lucas. He's my close friend and your employer, so perhaps... What the hell was that noise? Yes, yes. Audible yawn, sir. Exaggerated <laughs> looking at my watch, sir. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, I have to pretend to have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like a situation with the chamber pots in the guest rooms, for example. Or perhaps helping drag a body out of the chapel. What did you say? Nothing, sir. Try not to die horribly while I'm gone. Good day. Is that you, Drakir? Wait, what? Since you tell me not to die every time. Oh no! <laughs> I hope you're taking this seriously. Okay. Just in time. Hello. A dark mask over pale marble. The statue em em emanates pure white hot grief. It is hard to be near. There's also a little something at the foot here. 
It looks like it to yeah. me. Can't really say what that is. Oh, also, hello there. <coughs> I'll just grab that up. Have it in hell winding key. And that thing was... Where again? I think through, through here. The giant uh, one arm bandit that actually had a damn furnace. There we go. Now we can set that thing to here. Uh, let's see, pizza. One game is Hogwarts Legacy and the other is called Star Ocean The Second Story R. Okay. Out of both. Hmm. I can't say I've heard of the second, but I I do know about Hogwarts Legacy. And let's see. Do you have heard of the second one? Or I have told you about one of my, my Star Ocean games where I ended up quitting Oop. due to they end up showing a lot of important story messengers in middle on combat with a very small subtitle. Okay, that's not going to help anything. Yeah, I could, I quit playing the game after that. Okay. Another one I almost finished, but I got lost in a area that is basically designed to be a damn labyrinth. And I promised to getting out of it uh, at times. Okay. Uh, we need to find that <laughs> arm somewhere. Yes. Oh, hello. Not easy. Let's see. The place card reads the Kila Bell and the Widow Blue. This way. Uh, Clay Rockridge and Trinity Carrington. Grayson Grayson and Red Rockridge. Yep. L same last name. Brothers. Orin Ruins and Thanos uh, Greco uh, Gorecki. The place card reads Lafcadio Boone and Eleanor Bonds. Okay. And there's a little something here. The curtain is opening. Behind it is a painting with peepholes cut in the eyes. It is impossible to see through the other side of the wall. Okay. Uh. Okay, can we then not look through it? Okay. Oh, God. Um... Hmm? Look at the two other painters in the room. Give me a sec. Uh, th Not that one. The other two with circle of frames. Yeah, there's a bunch of eyes and one big eye. We've seen variants of this dragon around. Uh, uh, there's some eyes over here as well. All over these two doors here. What the heck? Let's see. Okay, that's that door connects over there. Okay. The, the, this is an exaggerated way to try to remind yourself. This is the peeping room. <laughs> okay, why would we want to look into here though? Hmm. Yeah, the reason I'm sticking around here is to try and find Oop. bad timing. The arm of that roulette thing has to be somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. Pizza. The Star Ocean game is really special looking, but I am interested in it. Uh, like, in its. It's like a 2D pixel characters mixed with a 3D world. Okay. Well, S S S Ocean's the second story. Or I think it is a. I think it also stands for a retold or something. I think it's a remake or something like that? Maybe. Where is that blasted arm thing? So why is there a big giant explanation mark here? Oh, hmm. Wait, it's because I guess it's more of a retelling. Actually... Wait, I remember now there. <laughs> We found out about the hi a hidden passage here, but we couldn't move. We couldn't look into it yet. So now that we're almost out of time, I guess we can take a peek. Oh, okay, we gotta look in. Actually, isn't this how we got into the other half? 
Okay, then what's the point of this here? Okay, this is how we get around that burning door, I think. Yeah, because you know, through there we found out that that door or that painting is a door, so we can get past the burning door here. It would be nice if the burning doors were marked somehow. Uh, um... What? Why is it raining blood? It's been raining blood every time the, that midnight arrives. Or oh, throws I... near. I think I've been so focused on everything else to not have noticed the damn blood rain. <laughs> Which is also a, f a series of games we might pick up at one point or another for streaming. Okay. Not the blood rain I meant, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we did say that. No, wasn't there something we were concerned with? Uh, concerned with how again? Uh, something with the. Uh, they didn't have a uh, struggle to uh, get it stored or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. Hmm. The only other concern I think was... I think potential sensory? Maybe. Also. Yeah, Orm is going around pulling or setting those things off and he just... Oh, wrong area. He just set off one of them that was already good. Also, ah, three sentenced meddlers to a fiery death. Okay, you have, you broke the arm off. It's days like this that's good to be alive. Okay, and you are three of hearts. Where are you going to hide that? Let's see. Wait, didn't you come? I mean, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. actually, no. We can't see in there now. Is that oh, all time? It. Yes. Oh, oh he didn't cabinet. Wait. Oh, hello. We can hear Trinity. Open this up. Okay, he hi he hides it somewhere in there. Okay. So we need to open up that uh, peeping hole so we can see where he hides it. Okay. Now we know the next step. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I probably should have I should probably should have thought to check in on that thing early to see if it still had the arm or not. And from there, we'd be able to deduce, oh, someone sabotages it eventually. Let's see, can I be here? Oh, yes, he is over there already. This is number two is up there. Okay. Yep. Actually, I think I can see where he likely hides it. But we need to have it confirmed first. So open that up. Go through here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he goes through here. So we quickly w go around. Past the death machine. Okay. okay, almost a bit early. Now, where are you going to hide it? Yeah, this game is part puzzler, part detective game. And sometimes you just have to, well, try oddball things until you discover a lead on what to do. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, so now we know what that what that actually is. And in the meantime, 
I believe Thanos is going to pass through here in a second. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go grab that uh, lever. Yeah, but he still needs to get out first. And I can hear Thanos coming close. Actually, there he is. Okay. We've already seen what they talk about, though. So... Actually... I would say keep an eye on them and get ready to move in. Okay, yeah, they're both going that way. Okay, at about five. <laughs> also, how oddly just, just emotive these masks are, or at least their masks are. Don't think we've seen much movement in the masks of the patrons. Peter Gill! <laughs> hey, um, Pika, how are you doing? Uh, let's see what they have I read out what they said. What kind of, na what kind of name is this? <laughs> I think they mean what kind of game is this? <laughs> uh, this, is, this game is called The Sexy Brutale, which, as I said to, for pizza earlier, is like if Groundhog Day was a murder mystery. Is set in a massive casino called the Sexy Brutale. And well, we're playing as Lovecadio Love Boone here, whose objective it is to save each of the patrons from getting murdered by the staff. But yeah, we can't be in the same room as people, so we have to be sneaky about it. We're not a ghost or anything. And we earlier discovered that the arm of a mechanism that we need was hidden in here. A hidden dumbwaiter compartment. <laughs> There's a statue arm inside. Okay. And with that in hand, we can fix up one of the mechanisms needed to, well, disarm the freaking furnace. It's been converted into... <clears throat> it's been converted into an elevator. Okay, then we just give this a pull. Until it goes green. But then there's still two more mechanisms to go. There. And then over oh, this way. Yep, mm. two green hearts. The problem is, though, is that we don't have the time... I don't think we have the time to reach the other two mechanisms. So now we know how to fix that, at least. Also, I believe Orem is on his way here. Also, I think that might be flowers, a bouquet of roses or something. Oh, wait, wrong door. Uh, yeah, some of these doors are on fire for some reason, or at least on fire for us, and we can't pass through. So, yeah, we needed to sneak around through, well, <laughs> a hidden door. Okay. Like, I already know how things go Oop. in this game. So, it's, it's a lot easier for me to figure out where to go most of the times. Alright, there was one of the other mechanisms in there, and the next one is... Uh, okay. Oh, this one is actually set correctly. Okay. Um, no, wait. There's one more over in the bar, but I'm yeah, not I, sure if we have enough time for that. Don't have again screams asunder. Hmm. Yeah, right. And yeah, for each patron that we rescue, we gain their power, which in case of Tequila Bell, is the ability to see and speak the... To, to, to ghosts. Uh, luckily, we could still tell them the password, which is information we learned by, well, trial and error. Okay. No. <clears throat> Let's see if we can still get this at the last second or so. So, yes, through trial and error, 
and just trying things out and exploring around. You, you're basically trying to find out what the hell happens for each death and how to sabotage it. For one example, uh, yeah, we had to inform one of the victims that uh, their girlfriend, maybe wife, I'm a bit shady on the details of that. Uh, basically indirectly inform them that they are in danger, which causes them to basically hulk out. Uh, can we get this in time still? One more pull. Uh, and just in time, I'm thinking. Arm, that's done it. The, sta yeah, the statue symbols. I don't understand. This should not be. The, this shouldn't be the correct combination. You think maybe their marquees changed them? I. It's possible. But if that were true, then the ones I was working towards. Well, it's too terrible to imagine what could have happened. Yeah, this like a, this thing is a, a furnace that was converted into an elevator, and if you don't smash the, well, set the correct codes, they would be cooked alive. Yeah. Yeah. The, ah. the deaths in this game are not pretty. For one example, one gets, well, slashed apart by a shattered window, a massive stained glass window. Actually. I wish it is, uh, uh, for Pika Girl, I definitely recommend you to watch our uh, videos on this uh, when they are posted on YouTube. Yeah, they should all be up. I have been keeping up with that lately, <laughs> not been as lazy with it. Hmm. Let's see. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Maybe I don't need this mask on right now. Yes, I feel, I rather feel a weight has been lifted. Okay, and once they get saved, they pull off their masks. The mansion gets angry at us for, well, saving them from death. And without the masks on, Lafcadio can move up to talk with them. Ah, Boone. Lafcadio, how are you, man? Did you, did you do something with the elevator here? It had the most terrible feeling. Boon, would you mind terribly continuing our search for Lucas? I'm worried about him, but he is at least he is least likely to be offended when the concern is coming from you. That boy loves you, Laffy. Looks up to you, you know. Even with all the even with all his crazy riches, he still has a soul needs saving. Plus, this old fool here owes me a drink <laughs> and some staff members and an apology. There will be zero apologizing. <laughs> the sass on that young man. I tell you, in my day... <laughs> yeah, all, all of the patrons <laughs> are friends of the Marquis, who is still banished somewhere. And Orum takes his mask with. And there we go. Another pair saved. And another visit from her. Stannis' mask is yours, Boone. And yes, the, the Marvel Thanos jokes have been made. Thanos' architect insights. The genius architect Thanos Gorecki had an unparalleled knowledge of the Sexy Brutale. Visiting certain areas of the mansion will trigger memories and reveal secrets. Unlock new entries in the brochure by using the power when the prompt appears. Yeah, basically, the main thing with his mask is that it gives us lore about everything about the casino. He knows more about this place than any man, except perhaps for Reggie. With that mask and Thanos' knowledge, so much will be revealed to you. Thanos' monument is your path forward. But he can also reveal so much about the mansion and the path you've already taken. You've opened a path downward, Boone. I want to thank you. There is something so precious down there in the dark. Come to find me. Ooh. Yep. Angie Mansion. And down we go. And immediately we get linked up with the clock here. And well, since it's already late in the day. 
Now, we, we can set spawn points at the, the clocks around here, but the clocks need to be functioning, and someone's sabotaged most of them. Okay. Up and Adam Boone. Okay. No need to advance time. The elevator is a work of art. It appears to be wrought from pure gold, with one of the finest examples of a clockwork lift in a mechanism you could imagine. For it to be hidden down here is a selfish crime. Boy, if that actually made of... I, I doubt this made of pure gold. Given that it may be of pure gold, that, wouldn't that be a bit too soft? Uh, actually, metal it, no, soft, maybe, but metal is extremely heat resistant, so uh, a golden furnace is actually a thing you could make. And while well, this thing was converted from a furnace. Uh, does the gold easily melt? Nope. Uh, just for an example of that, you could look at the uh, burning of the Notre Dame, because, uh, yeah. Basically, most of the church burned down, but the golden cross was still uh, intact. That's because gold melts at like 5,000 degrees Kelvin or something. Extremely high heat, a lot higher than normal flames can go. Okay, <clears throat> that makes me question a certain scene from Game of Thrones, then. Like, the candles burn clean and bright, reflecting what could, be, uh, could well be uh, pure gold paneling on the floors. We've got a secret here. This room, you remember. Okay. And yeah, that should start opening stuff up here. The basement, the Great Gold Elevator. Reginald Sixpence was one of the closest... Uh, uh, Reginald Sixpence one wa once was the closest to the Marquis of all the guests who visited the mansion. Yeah, there, there's still a few grammar errors here and there. Uh, a bit surprised that they haven't passed those out or anything. <clears throat> the Marquis recognized that within Sixpence was his true spark of genius, and he confined it and colluded with him like no other. Sixpence knew about the basement and created a mechanical elevator using sections of gilded steel. Okay, so it is gilded, not pure, uh, <clears throat> or not solid steel, that Aurum had created to his specifications. For many engineers, knowing that their greatest work would be hidden in the depths of a basement would be an insult, but Sixpence truly lived for the pure joy of the challenge. A trait that perhaps would come to be misused. It meant not pure gold. Yeah, no, not solid gold, metal uh, bars and such. Three paintings of people you do not recognize. Okay. We have uh, one more person to rescue here. So we'll need to find them, find their fate, and prevent it. The books appear to be written in a foreign language. Then you realize every page is filled with lurid descriptions of murders handwritten in mirror writing. Okay. Uh. Hello. A bank of electronics. The main console is labeled theater. It looks highly technical, but some of the wires have been torn out roughly. Okay, could be that that's how the uh, the theater was sabotaged. Because that's the death trap that Grace and, and Red find themselves in. Machines possibly undergoing repairs. There are schematics for what appears to you know, appear to be some kind of explosives. They are too technical to understand, but they nibble at the edges of your memory for some reason. And another one of these blasted mirrors. Mirror service is flawless. Something about it makes you deeply uneasy. Okay. Next door. Okay. Uh, nice imagery. Above you are delicate glass tubes. Walkways? Hello. Boon. This place is not like the rest of the mansion. This is where the Marquis, ke Marquis keeps some of his most powerful secrets locked up tight. Behind this statue, I believe there is a door. You need to find a way to open it. 
If I can talk to him, if I could just see what... I cannot stay here. Please, Boon, help me see what's behind this door. Oh, hello there. Okay. I should probably put in a big warning here for anyone who wants to play this game for themselves sometimes. Which I would highly recommend. I think the game is typically only like... Uh, 12... Tw somewhere between 12 and 20 dollars or so. And let's just say that at this point things are going to be at uh, very interesting. Pipes or tubes connect to the statue. They feel more organic than mechanical, like veins or arteries gone cold. So, uh. yeah, cons consider this your, uh, if you want to play this yourself, <laughs> stop here, warning. And with that, we move on. This is a mimic. Hey. Hello there. A vein-like tube. It's horrible to be near. It's one of these mechanisms again. A statue, relative of you know, the ones upstairs. This is the king. His arm is missing. I can't find a cubicle. Yes. Oh, what was the talk? Uh, I feel like of late there has been many times where you just ended up having to make a mimic joke. <laughs> Mechanized skeleton rope. The mansion is run by the full house staff. Uh, ta -ta. The skeleton robot is on the table. Its inners are laid open. It's part way through repair or construction. The house does not recognize cat and dog hands. Okay. What is this thing blathering about? It looks like a huge amount of power is being used in this room. A blaze is a hand where all uh, cards are jack, king, uh, queens, and kings only. Thank you. So it's it's spouting poker <laughs> nonsense. Roulette ball. <laughs> it is sexy uh. to the allure of gambling. Great in the wall. You can hear the casino faintly in the distance through the vents. It is brutal due to the impact of ad addiction. Okay, I could, we could probably listen to that thing for quite a while, but let's actually try and make some progress. And hello. Um, that's one massive gramophone. It... Okay, <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. There goes another off the staff. You notice crawled on the dark blue picture, Thanos. Avoids the lift shaft, immolate instead. You notice crawled on the gold picture, Aurum. Render in the furnace. Grayson. Lure and trap in pale. Red. Self termination on electrics. Manipulate affections as needed. Tequila Bell. Lethal self laceration. Then feed the spider. Willow. Drown into mundane. Despair into hanging. Trinity. Always hears the garage. Put her in with the spider. Clay. Killed the spider. Poison him instead. Sixpence. Blow his brains out. Okay, and these are the guests that we've saved, well, previously. Because I think it's easy to say why the lights are out on some of these. I see something on the floor. Another card, four of spades. And that was Red's dying. With Grayson following soon after. Okay, we need to find the arm for the roulette machine. I always get a little bit of a cabin woods vibe from this. Yep. Looks like we've got an audience, and there's the fucker with the gun. Oh. Uh -huh. Yep, another one. Hello. 
A large basin filled with brackish water. A small sapling poking up from the cracks. Cocktail goblet. A notebook. The first, yeah, the first few pages are filled with tally marks. The sheets are dirty. The papers are too faded to read. Okay. And the time is running out. Let's see. Vein-like tubes. They are horrible to be near. Walls are patched together with old wooden beams. It feels insecure. Like an old place just holding together. Okay. We're so happy that's a special room where everyone is in. Uh, we missed it. Okay. Roulette ball and that the goblets. We could probably play a shell game with that if we want to, but I don't think we have time for games. Uh, hell, Captain, my friend. You're playing a game right now. It's... No idea how audible I was from one trying to whisper into the mic. Yeah, you could be heard. And this is the kitchen. These pots appear to be pure copper. The collection is worth a small fortune. A large and very stinky couple of cheeses, and a cooking book entitled Cheese, and Base the Stench. An ornate dumbwaiter. There's a playing card inside. Okay, so we're, we're right underneath that dining area. Bells alerting the servants they are needed upstairs. Where's your bells? Looks like the servants' dining area. Beer perhaps. Tabs. <laughs> okay. I was looking at one. Why the heck have beer tabs in here? You supposed to have them behind the bar, but in the kitchen. <laughs> and we've already been through the wine cellar. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can guess my surprise face when you rang it. Uh, dirty dishes piled high. It's perhaps the most comforting and homely thing seen in the mansion so far. Okay. And what have we here? Just a series of books on the history of Japanese ghost stories. Please, the painting. A small table for cards has been set up here. Another one of these. Just break that open. It's Grayson's ability. And of course, it's not a damn card. Ace of Diamonds. The paintings on the wall are a tip triptych with a inscription at the bottom. The story of a yoga. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not even going Aoyagi? to try to. Aoyagi, maybe? Maybe. Let's see. Oop. Two bottles of Chateau Margot 1787. Okay, that must be a pricey one. And I guess we found a secondary wine cellar. The cabinet is filled with five bottles of Mouton Rothschild 1945. Impossible. Very, very expensive wines, I'm guessing, since I know nothing about wines other than that I can't stomach the things. A secret meeting room hidden deep in the mansion. Just being in the room affords a sense of entry and power. Another card. There are two bottles of Macallan M whiskey on display. The sheer cost. Yeah, I, I don't see the value in expensive drinks. Like, if it, if, all I really care about if if it if it tastes good or not. If it's if it's more expensive than its uh, uh, taste is worth, then it's worthless to me. If you ask me. Let's see. Books on the correct preparation of anti-venoms. Some of the pages are worryingly well thumbed. Well, the thing with one is, the longer you let the age, the better the taste. Supposedly. The it, the, the, hence why they're expensive. Like, if it's a unopened wine for 200 years... Yeah, that's why it's, it will sort of be valuable for... It has been unopened for so long. And have been... Uh, given a chance for a very rich flavor. 
And we and found another secret door. I guess also the reason for that price is and again. You waited 200 years to age the damn thing. Yeah, so it should be at least worth, or should it's supposed to taste at least somewhat decent. And yeah, back at the barn. But some probably will just buy it and keep it since, again, 200 years, they just open and drink it. When it's yeah. rare. In a way, it's similar. It's similar to cryptocurrency like that, only it has an actual value, actual physical value. Also, since you mentioned this and we are at the end game, I thought we might as well go take a look here. Yeah, and I will not say the word healing is said for, I feel like using that word is curse. <laughs> Hello. A beautifully tended flower patch. There are carved flowers in with the real. The garden has been perfectly cultivated. It is clearly a labor of love. Something fell from the clock tower. It's hard to make out in the flower bed. Yeah, it is hard to make out. Let's see. The gardens. That's the bell getting rung on Willow. Nope. Was this playing the same game? <laughs> Let's see. What did we remember about the gardens? Nope. The Marquis was an indifferent gardener, but Eleanor loved the mansion grounds and under her care they flourished. The fountain and its statues were carved from a single block of marble, imported at phenomenal expense and worked on day and night by Trinity for almost a full year. The full extent of the mansion grounds extends far beyond what can be seen from the terrace. Yeah, that's a big fucking chunk of marble they got for this thing, huh? The water from the fountain is more soothing than you imagined possible. Hello. There is no real path here. It's just a, you know, it's just the tiny, the one tiny little house. And the door is locked. The door is marked with a teardrop. It will not open. Wait. Don't tell me it's... Oh, I recognize her. Oh, God. And here was the yoga that was praying that the house was not made for one single mob as well. I don't think but, that would be possible. Well, I think it's possible, but... Easy? No. But I would say not even likely possible. Also, is that an... What's that over here? Well, a, you would need to find a very big chunk of marble to do that with. Is that and a, a lot of patience. Okay, that looks to be an arm that's broken off from one of the statues, but I don't see any missing among these. Hmm. That is concerning. But I think I also knew who the... To be murdered in that room was. Let's see. Oops, secrets. Okay, all of those are closed off. Let's see the guests. And we have no specific info about any of them with that. I think you can find invitations around the place that gives more info on them, but we haven't found a single one of those. Okay. But yeah. Back to the basement. And back to continue our exploring. Though, yeah, we don't have too much time left for that, so I think we're going to hit another reset before we can reach anything new. So, go to that room with all the damn token moss gather and see what the heck they are gathering for. 
And it, it's poker mask also works, but it's gas masks, I'm pretty sure. I know. But you know why I call them poker masks? Yeah. Because it helps hide their poker face. But I'm just. But Adam, they, they had them symbols on their forehead. And here comes another. And another, and another, and another. Pizza, I thought you were going to say Pokemon and not Poker Face. <laughs> Why, you little... <laughs> That'd be something. Murderous staff wants to battle. They okay, send out shotgun. Are you sad? <laughs> okay. But yeah, you, you reminded me that there was another area behind the atrium or however you're, it's called. I do not care too much about architectural ac accuracy in naming places. I see. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's check out over here. So let's take a look at this thing before it's opened. The statue screams madness at you. It is horrible to behold. There appears to be a doorway in it, but there is not much, uh, not so much as a crack around the edges. Something, oh, there's a bunch of players running through it, so... Something... It always looked eldritch or cosmic about it. Let's see. You dip the goblet in. But you're washing the goblin? Perhaps a little water will help. Uh -oh. I do remember this puzzle. Uh, let's continue checking around. Oh, hello. Sexy Brutale pinball machine? It needs a ball to play. Okay, we found, a bo we found a roulette ball on the other side. But let's look around here still first. Uh, hello. In turn. Something is under the sheet. There is a gentle sound of a ventilator. In, out. In, out. A click, but nothing more. Perhaps another button will begin the sequence. Nope. 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 Okay, the machine hums to life. Oop, two machines are now up and running. Oh, not that one. Okay. 50-50 chance. Oop. Knowledge of this place floods your mind. We'll check that in a second after this. Nope. Well, now it's a one. <laughs> now it's a 100% chance of which one is correct. Okay, a third correct press. The room is humming with energy. 50-50. Nope. <laughs> of course. Okay. One more. Something is happening. <laughs> what? I can't do this. Oh no. It's a pizza. Ah, the good old trial and error method. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Mm. Go back. Mm. You can't interact with it. There's a ma person on the slab. The mask actually appears to be some kind of ventilator, forcing breath into their lungs, whether they want it or not. I want it or not. Oh no. Okay, looks like there's a bit more to the staff, perhaps, than... ...thoughts? What the heck? Okay. Are they creating a mask of necromancy? Or, well... ...trying to 
make people alive with moss. The soil is now wet. Let's see, can we feed this thing more? Perhaps the water will help. Hmm. Has it grown? <laughs> I think it might have. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Or maybe not. Okay. Yeah. 6 p.m. They are starting to gather here again. Now, where was that roulette ball? Not here. <coughs> Ah, there it is, with uh, the gibberish spouting robots. <laughs> oh, the house that... Oh, come on! <laughs> well, I'd, I'd say at the moment they are rather understaffed, instead of a full house. Let's see. I know someone who would probably like something like this. Oh, hello. And all that got us was another card. Someone uh, uh, pulling the bell. Hmm. I know there is something with the water and this thing here. Hmm. Was it that you have to enter and exit over and over? I just realized. Hmm? There are caves on the ground. So if we find another cable somewhere else, that might be a clue to what else we need to do. Wait, was that second card there before? And oh, there's only another card to get there, so don't think that room is of interest. There's another card up there. So there's power cables leading into that room, which tie into here. And then there's these green veins that lead over to this thing. But the arm is missing, so we can't do anything with it. Wait. His words are lies. His truth is also something. Wait, th th there's something further in the room. Yeah, there's only things we can look at, nothing we can pick up. Oh. Also, it said something about loaded dice there. Would you like insurance? Hmm. Okay, where are we going to find the arm? Death insurance? <laughs> Life insurance, I think you mean. Hmm. Oh right, this is called dead insurance. I think I heard people accidentally call it a death insurance as well. Oh, it is a bit fitting. Okay, seriously, I remember there being something with dipping, with feeding this thing water. Or did we over, did I overfeed it? Also, someone was left a meal outside of this place. Hmm. Is this something we should have started earlier or something? Like it actually progresses with the time in the with the clock over here? Hmm. There's another one of them. Hmm. Are there any other doors around here? There's only that one room over there and one behind the machine. Hmm. Let's see, that connects to the bar. Where can that stupid thing be? I'm missing That's the portrait like. hall. Hmm. I, I did remember that the last uh, area of this game is uh, quite a thing. And qu 
quite a bit obscure as well, I believe. Hmm. So his arm is missing. Wait. Could we use the arm from the other one? That oh. might work. Okay, we'll have to try that next then. Might as well restart a bit early. Hmm. Maybe we can try and water that thing earlier. See if that helps. Hmm. We'll have to take the long way around, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's try getting the arm first, since that's going to be the longest trip. We don't even know if what we might get from that plans would be of any use either. Hmm. Okay, through here, then upstairs. Oop. It's Aurum pulling one of the levers. Okay. Through the hidden door. Don't ask me how the hell you're supposed to open that up from this side. I'm guessing you could grab the side of the frame. Okay. Oop. Too early. Because Aram is still here. Okay, just wait for the flame to fade. I think by the time we get over to where the arm was hidden, we should be able to just get in. Or at least get it, since, well, the <clears throat> he should already have it hidden in there. Come on, Aram. Yeah, the, for anyone new, actually we can keep it on like that. The flames signify that someone is in the other room. There we go. Okay, is there actually any rooms around here that we haven't visited? Let's see, that's the theater area. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. How did I overlook this all this time? And there, there goes tequila. Actually, since we're here at around this time... We, we know that someone has been falling out of one of the windows upstairs. For some reason. And it was said that something landed in here. So we may be able to catch a glimpse of, uh, a glimpse of that. Hmm. That is a good point. I completely hmm. missed that. Yeah, we can't. We've been hearing two kind. Uh, we we've been hearing glass break every four p.m. about, but we're in the basement Wait, and not in the upper areas. So it's not with the, you know, who singing? No, it's that shouldn't be tequilas because I don't think we can hear the... <clears throat> I don't think we can hear that best. It, it, oh, okay, that is the arm from this statue. And yeah, someone just dropped dead into the flowers. Yeah, but, but who was it? Not a clue. That is it familiar, but... No, that can't be her, for she... The one I think was was at the bell. Hmm. Now there are a few more people around who should be in the mansion, like the Marquis Lucas, and well, I think you can take a guess at uh, the identity of uh, the bloodied woman. There's been two names that have been unrelated to the patron so far. So, let me grab that. Love or girlfriend or wife? 
Lucas and Eleanor, and well, I think we know what happened to the to the Marquis now. Finally, that everyone seems to be looking for. Okay. Question is, oh right, but he is here, and I don't think we can actually go back through the elevator itself, so we have to backtrack all the way around again. I, th I think I remember there being one annoying backtrack bit throughout this game, and this might be that. And, well, it's the end. It's nearing the end of the game, so it makes sense that at least one big backtrack happens in it. Wait. Yep. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm confused. How are you to bring the switch down if you can't activate the furnace? Now we go down the same way we got up. Back through the bar. Oh, right. Marco, the, the, Marco, the title doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, it, the, the title doesn't make sense because of the name of the uh, casino mansion here. Also, hi, Marco. Hello, little Marco. Okay, now let's see if we can actually use this thing like I think we can. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> that stomach yeah. acting up at the same time as mine is. Why, you didn't hear my, me sneeze? No. Well, I guess it didn't pick out, but it was a, a very loud sneeze. <laughs> Marco Little, I'm <laughs> six foot one, I'll let you know. <coughs> and? Okay, that that side has stayed powered, it seems, so we don't have to do that puzzle again. Now, can we use this one here? Yes, we can. Hey. Okay. So that I was, was right. annoying. Okay. Uh, I, I just realized, what the heck is Mark using the yep. foot system? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's called the imperial system. Clay Rock Ridge, Red Rock Ridge, a Red Flower, Aurum Runes, Knowledge of this place floods your minds. Let's see. That the clean, forgot to read this one. A laboratory, a hospital, a torture chamber. The room gleams with advanced technology and machines hum in the background. There is something on the slab. The outline of a person, perhaps? There is heavy breathing, as if the machines are forcing air into someone's lung. The gramophone room. The enormous gramophone stands in the dark. It is from here that the announcements for the uh, mansion sound out. But who would create such a thing? Orwin would lack the mechanisms. Uh, Warren would lack the mechanics, Thanos the inspiration, Sixpence the innovation, and Tequila the drive. The record spins when you run, creating sound and fury for as long as you exert yourself. But you go nowhere. You arrive at <coughs> you arrive back at the beginning, older but no wiser. And the graveyard. A cold wind blows down here. The door opens into a wide out door field, deep in the depths of the mansion. It is impossible. You recognize the names on the graves. You recognize the carvings on the stone. Let's see. Marco, I don't know. Maybe I got used to it while speaking to my American friends. Oh, uh, wait. There's a cable leading from here. Oh. Oh, hello. There's one more. Eleanor Bonds. And that's another one powered. The crypt is empty. It's the power failure. 
Okay, one more thing remains to be powered. It's connected to that prison cell. But I think we're going to need another loop to finish that one, perhaps. Are you sure you can open it? Yep, hello. The sapling is now a small tree, but this would have taken years to grow this large. Uh... Wait. Okay, I think I might... I think I get it. This thing doesn't grow between each time we enter and exit. It grows through the cycles. I think. A tree of Isis or something? Hmm. It's... If it's bigger now, when we get to it, it'll be confirmed then. Well, that means we need to... Oh, wait, does that door remain open now? Or... Well, I didn't open, they... but, you know, the glowy... The cave, yeah. The cave, the cables from the left side remained powered for, uh, from the last cycle, so it should remain the same now. Oh, thank goodness! I have to go that, back for that switch over and over. Why, John? Now mid speech, really? Yeah. See, they are ah. still powered. Okay. Now, was I right? Oh, yeah, it's, it grew. Okay. So we grab this up again. Okay, there must be something that this leads to. Oh. Well, <laughs> just enough then, it seems. Okay. Oh, wonderful. The, like the tree fills the room. It would have taken many years to grow to this size. Okay. And yeah. Now this this should lead towards you know, to the end of the game, or at least in the, to the end game, because we have one more person to save still. And well. Anyone who hasn't stepped away from uh, one thing to play for one thing to play this game yet, I, this is your very last. <laughs> this is your very last warning on this, because yeah, after this is going to spoil a hell of a lot. So yeah, we're entering in three, two, one. Oh my god, what has he done to you? No. This? Is this? And hello there. Well, well. This is utterly tiresome. I mean, well done, and so forth. You find my secret, etc., etc. I know it must look cruel, chaining what appears to be a madman up in a dungeon. Using these mirrors to show him the guests being murdered over and over again. Tormenting him until his tears of sorrow and rage fill the tank that is his prison. But it is all very necessary, you see. Yes, I can see how you look at me, but... Boom, take this, get out of here. No, no, I'd rather think not. Yes, that's better. I control every part of this world. This creature, however, is what you might consider the battery. He is my power source. The two of you were the only aspects outside my grasp. 
But now, I think it's time to end this. Not with a bang or fanfare, but with a simple snap of my... But, but, how dare. Go. Oh. Sapphire Tear Ring. Run, Boon. This is very much not over. In a vat of his own tea. Same. Pizza sounded like a bear. I. It, 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 just a moment. I think I need to get my big hammer for this. Uh, Golden skull face bastard are going to hunt down. <laughs> For that okay. is cruel. Hmm? You want to say something there? Hmm. We now have another person in the mix. Uh, we already have... The, the only people who remains, to our knowledge, were Eleanor and the Marquis Lucas, but now there is, well, Gold Skull for one as a third party still, we've been, who we've been spotting all throughout the mansion so far, but also the king in the tube, the king, the king in the vats. In the Marquis. <laughs> Let's see if the brochure has anything on them. I probably should clear these out in or when new stuff appears. Uh, tutorials. Yeah, just click all of those off. There's one more, though. The guests still have nothing on them. Casino. The bar. Let's see. Basement. Okay, nothing new appeared there. I'm just going to click all of these off. For the moment. There. Camera room. We can go through all of those once we're at the end. Though actually, I might need a full-on second. Um, I might need a full-on extra stream just to cover all of that. Uh, that timing. Yeah, we'll just go around then. Would you be able to with another stream cover all of those secrets? <laughs> a good amount, at least. And well, there's also still. An impossibility here. Because there's a door, but there's no passageway on the other side there. Okay, yeah, now it's so easy with my stomach. It's been actually. You no, know, the was with my stomach earlier after the first stream today. Okay. Now let's talk about Rudy this and Creepy Spirits that. Hello, Tequila. Oh. Oh, we both are both to get sick at the same time again. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh, wait, was it around during the winter we both got sick at the same time? I think. <laughs> okay. Keep moving. Now, for some for some reason, the game doesn't really recognize if you keep the the move button held down. As you just enter an area. Bloody heck. I like this area, but it also feels so weird to hear suddenly a lo lovely bird music and all here, around here, just after all the casino. Yeah, it feels extremely out of place with everything, huh? The door is reacting to the Marquis' signet ring. Can we... A blue tear ship ring given to you by the bloodied girl. Okay, that's just a bit different. The door. It seems like the heat is less intense on this side of the uh, room. If only we were here earlier. Well, we know how to, we can be here earlier.
And now we have a timed puzzle. Or not much a puzzle, more like run like hell. I'm really run! Oh, yeah, we were just in time with that. Come on, get through, Boone. Get away from the fire. There we go. Okay, this area is safe for now. There's still plenty of green to burn. Okay. Now, let's see if we can finally get some answers as to what sort of eldritch hellhole we've ended up in. Mufkadio. It's been such a long time. Would you talk to Lucas? Something seems to be troubling him. He's always looked up to you, you know? I know he teases you dreadfully about your lifestyle. Damn it. Knocked something over. But he respects you enormously. More than anyone else I know. I believe he's always wanted to be more like you. Perhaps when he's a little older. Or more mature, I should say. Oh, you have our ring. Can I see? <laughs> Big ass ring. I remember you presenting it uh, to us when you married us. Ruby heart ring. You must take it. Lucas will be missing it, I'm sure. Tell him I just needed a rest. This little guy is heavy. I hope he won't be mad that I'm missing the party. I know he loves the mansion, but this is all we've ever really needed. It's right here. This is our perfect little world. Please, tell him I will wait for him, won't you? I'll be right here whenever he is ready. And there's a, one of those mirrors that uh, the king was being shown everything through. That was Eleanor, the Marquis' wife. And I don't really think that's her hood. It's more like she's missing all of her skin. She is always here, safe, in this place. You've seen some of the truth now. The mansion was on fire. We, the guests, died. It should have ended there. But that creature in the golden mask... Somehow he brought them all back. Torturing us over and over. I tried to help them. Tried to find some peace in all this pain. He is so, so strong. But with that ring, I believe you can stop him. Wait, she's not Eleanor? There is a secret place. My uncle... I mean, Sixpence was so close. Take that ring to the room where Aurum died. It will unlock the path. And Lenore left her mask for you. Take it. Uncle? Was he say uncle? Yep. Yeah. One more mask. Eleanor's mirror walk. Eleanor was the life and soul that connected the people and places in the section Brutale. Her mask allows you to travel by stepping into the mirrors placed throughout the mansion. 
You can now walk through any mirror in the Sexy Brutale. The movements of all staff and guests have also been revealed to you on the map. So yeah, now we can see where everyone is at any time. Without having to, well, stalk them the entire time. <laughs> she always tried so hard to see the best in people. But it was, you know, <clears throat> but it's what you see that will matter. Now look into the mirror. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Is that another hood? The red thing on her head? That's her hair. Go. Oh. How can a fucking ring stop a guy who's so strong? Who's strong? Well, I mean, the ring was kind of cool in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's a bit of a point. <laughs> I've never seen inside that place, you know? I'm not sure whether to rage impotently or to just be quietly glad. Anyway. I've watched you, Lovecardio. Your arrival was somewhat unexpected. All these years, you've done your dutiful loop, dying along with six pants in the chapel. And then all of a sudden, one day you're running around, ruining everything. It took me a little while to figure it out. And then, of course, I knew that bloodied creature had to be involved. I'm sure she has spun all the tales about me and what's happening here. I'm sure they have left out some other important information. I will be utterly candid with you now, Boone. I could end this right now. I could end you. I have the power. Insert your he man reference here. Perhaps she is right, and I am a monster. But we might all be monsters here. I want you to see. To understand. Come with me. Now, the first question is, am I really a murderer? And to that, the answer is most assuredly yes. You see this man here, the Reginald? I killed him, stone dead. It wasn't my finger that pulled the trigger, but it was my command. Family as well, you know. Marco, why, uh, why not do both? Nope, I won't go. I won't, I gotta go to court soon. Okay, the heck? Sixpence is frozen perfectly in time. His face shows disbelief and agony. And somehow the organ is still going. The staff member looks grimly dispassionate. He is doing his job without malice or pleasure. <laughs> Good luck with that then, Marco. <clears throat> Ah, the heart of the casino. Our dear friend Clay. In this scenario, I had him die from a shot of venom from the same spider which would go on to devour his precious wife. He did like a drink, Clay, but never, uh, but never when he was working, you know. Because some of the people, uh, some of the Marquis's friends, were also people who worked for him. Like uh, Grayson with the security system, Sixpence with the clocks, and Clay, I believe, was a bouncer or a dealer, I believe. There is almost a sense of sadness in the lifeless mechanical eyes of Sixpence's prototype robots. The poison has burned the flesh around Clay's mouth down to the bone. It was a horrific way to die. Oh! Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure it doesn't fully count as toxin anymore at that point if it's that acidic. I mean, I think you mean venom. Yeah, venom toxin. It, it burned like acids. <laughs> like, like it was freaking xenomorph blood. So fitting. She was so beautiful, Trinity. The Moth by Moonlight. It was what uh, Clay called her. She loved that name. A moth. So I thought it very fitting for her to be eaten by my giant spider. I never had one, you know. I'm sure nothing could possibly grow that big, but by gods I wish they did. I would have kept it in our room, just like this one. Wait, you... Wait, what? You cannot imagine the terror she must have felt, bound in thread and waiting for the end. The creature from my nightmare. This one was rather fantastical. When we found that fish, I did so want to believe the stories. A voodoo fish. I rather suspect it was just a guppy with some particularly bright colors. The man who sold it to me must have thought I was the most gullible person under the sun. But I wasn't paying for the fish. I was paying for the story. Eleanor called me a fool, but she did love to watch uh, she made this tank. Best fortune I ever spent. I'd like to say that Willow would never have hanged herself, but then a long, a long time ago, I stopped even trying to pretend I could understand what another person might do. Okay. Let's see, Marco, well, it's only jury duty and questioning for a missing person case. Okay. <laughs> Nothing spectacular or horrifying. At one point, you thought this creature held the answers, but he was just a fiction, a boogeyman. Willow's face is contorted in agony. Miss Tequila Bell, what a voice. She was a living work of art. I murdered her with the notes of a song, and then had my staff throw her body down a garbage chute. Staff member appears to be taking a certain amount of pride in the carnage he has created. Tequila, bleeding to death from deep lacerations all across her body. Grayson, red. It really wasn't a party until those two got here. Grayson really is such a complete scoundrel. My god, he's fun. Or he was, at least. Red really would have done anything for him. I'm almost certain that it would be so much more painful if Grayson had gone second and Red had to watch him die first. Yes, perhaps I'll change this one. kind of maniac imagines torturing a man in this way? He gave his own life to try to save Grayson. smelted him down in a furnace like a big gold bar. My mansion had many strange and wonderful creations, but a lift that doubled as an incinerator? That would have been something. I like to think that if Orm were able to choose how he went, and perhaps he would have chosen something like this. Though in a way, he almost did.
There is a small hope that his heart gave out before he burned to death. Fire blast from the furnace. Thanos, what a mind to waste. It wasn't just this mansion that he built, you know. There are similar works of architectural genius all over the country. He was a grouchy and often tiresome old man, but his mind was like a cracked diamond. At least his works will live on. Well, Boone, you have heard my confession. As I said, I am a murderer. This is not a brag or a boast. I am not good or clever for it. I am sinful and gross. I have killed everyone in this mansion. But there is one person who didn't die. Thanos' body is charred to the uh, crisp. Burns cooked him, uh, uh, cooked him through. This beautiful golden elevator is the connection between the horror upstairs and the madness down here. One man who survived the events of the day here. He woke up in a broken body with a broken mind. They put a mask on his face and the machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand. Is this, is this? If what the man in the gold mask says is true, then the mask is a breathing aid? Who are the staff here? A man who served his time, but time that could never be enough. Whoever was in this cell, they must have been here for years upon years for a tree to grow this large. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Boone. I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. The Empty Crypt. The crypt is marked Lucas. It is empty. The crypt is marked Eleanor. You know, somehow, the grave is real. She is here. The answer will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. Good night, Marco. Sleep well, Marco. Close enough. <clears throat> At the center of the mansion is a glorious statue carved in the shape of a yeah, fireworks outside, <clears throat> in the shape of a phoenix. It is one of the crowning glories of the mansion, a marvel of vision, art, and engineering. The statue was originally an enormous furnace that warmed the mansion before the entire heating system was redesigned and improved by Thanos. The marquee, you know. The Marquis also included a secret in the statue, however, shared only with a very select few. It conceals an elevator leading down into sections of the basement, kept hidden from prying eyes. So secret, in fact, that the original safety codes to activate the elevator were changed so not even Thanos knows the true combination. <coughs> hmm. 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 Bad timing. Oh no. 
Okay, just gotta wait for his punk ass to move on. Okay, what are you up to in there? And again, I think we know. The door is reacting to the Marquis's signet ring. The blue flames die down. Hello? Hello? Wasn't that supposed to connect to the chapel? The... <laughs> Speak and I shall get. Chapel winding key. Another key. This room. The waiting room. The most nondescript of nondescript rooms. Please relax and take the it off. There really is nothing of note to take note of here. Most people would likely have completely forgotten ever having seen this room, if they ever did even see it in the first place. Would you even recognize it from this angle? Perhaps you got a peek, just a glimpse of a hint, once before, long ago. Does it feel like a lifetime has passed since then? For some it certainly does. The room itself may not be important or noteworthy, but perhaps we should see if what's the, uh, the other side... <clears throat> if what's on the other side... Jogs our memories. Let's see. Yeah, back here. Back with this again. Maybe I should say. Maybe I should save those descriptions for <clears throat> for later. It's because on my other file, on my other save file, I have everything found, including all of those. Let's see. Oh, hello. A girl with a single earring and the smile that's too wide. That's the girl with the pearl earring. I even I know that one. Maybe only because I it's a Dutch painting. <laughs> Wait, what is that over there? Or is that supposed to mean the clock? Did I completely walk by the clock without even realizing it? Wait, I saw this yes, one thing you missed. Okay, on the on the other side of the door. Yep. Okay, there. Now we'll start from here so we don't have to go all the way around again. The girl holding what is possibly a weasel. That's a an actual picture I don't know. Chair is old but flawlessly crafted. A Bible is on the table nearby. The fire is roaring. Its intensity causes your heart to race. Several books and card sharpening, including a signed first edition by Clay Rockridge. Okay, so Clay was probably one of the... Uh, <clears throat> The dealers. Ledgers filled with running costs for the casino. They are covered in dust. Sword in the wall is as tall as a man. It looks razor sharp. Okay. And that's six pens dead again. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going to have to stop this again. A girl pouring wine or blood? Beautifully done, but unsettling. Oh, hello. Still in the air, it wasn't there before. Yep. You're definitely new here. So we talk at last. It's been a long road for you. All to come back here. Take this. And I'll play on. King of Diamonds, okay. He was close all along, you know. Mr. Sixpence, that is. Just got a bit mixed up. This place does that to you. You know? uh, Also... The window is magnificent, but creates a deep sense of unease. 
Okay, so we don't have to save him again. Well found, Boone. Please, come join me. Has to catch his breath again. He's an old man after all. control you and cannot make you part of my world not truly but perhaps once you see you will decide for yourself whether or not this world is the right uh, if whether or not this world is the right one for us this is Lucas Bondus Marquis of the sexy Brutale. Lucas my Lucas, I have brought us all here to judge this man, or rather, to sentence him. His guilt is not in question. You don't understand, please. He's a good man. We shall see. Boom, watch carefully. Has time, still plenty of time. It's expenses calculations after all. Explosives are all primed, everything will go off at once. The stroke of midnight. A garden filled with my guests, full of my guests safely outside by then, and a garden full of witnesses to clear me of any wrongdoing. It's risky. But the insurance. It's a new life for Eleanor and I. Something a little less extravagant this time. What? Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Please, he is a good man. Heavy. Sixpence, I'm afraid I rather lack your finesse. I don't want to see this. You'd be very disappointed, old chap. You'd have done a much neater and smaller job. You know, where am I? I think I must have left them in the other room. Yes, you turn your face away. How easy for you. How easy to look the other way. I am the one who has to keep everything together. Is it perfect? No. But this is what is right. The closest to right that we deserve. Please, he is a good man. My beautiful mansion. I will miss you so dearly. But you were also a gamble, and not one that has paid off. This house is not always winning, and you are a luxury I can no longer afford. It's time to cast in the check. What was that? Oh my god, no! Fire! The theater, but how? The casino, no. No, no, no. The timer, did I do something? No, how can this be happening? I have to get out. Ellie, Ellie. No, no. Oh god, what have I done? Oh. 
He survived that fall. A little bruised, somewhat broken. But he lived. And there you have it, Boone. His man sets a fire in his own mansion, nothing more than the insurance. You guess in the mansion, they didn't truly die to giant spiders or demon fish or crushing cages. They died in the fire that this man set. I have kept the I have kept this mansion running, embellished the deaths, added some flair, but this is the man truly responsible for the deaths in this mansion. This isn't everything. You don't know. It is more than enough. We will wait, Boom. If you can figure out, if you can wish to save this man, go ahead. I will not stop you. Your pocket watch ticks in perfect unison with this clock. You did this, Boone. There is but one thing we can do, I believe. And for now, that is to wait for him to leave. I think we will extend a little bit as needed to hit the end of the game. But that shouldn't be too long, I believe. Violin for practice. It looks like Sixpence's handiwork. Pieces have been taken from it. Let's see. Okay, I have something you can read in that case. Feel free to put them forward. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> yeah, he'd be disappointed because he took pieces out of the clock here. And, well... Use them to make a bomb, it seems. Do you remember how do you remember Arm's face when he first tried chef uh, chili, chili sauce? Bible. The inscription is from Lovcadio. The little statue was carved by Trinity. It's a strange clockwork device ticking away. We know where that clock is going to be. So instead of suffering through that again... Replica of the Sexy Brutale. The location of the fireplaces have been marked on it with flags. Wire cutters. These appear to be incendiary explosives. Now remember that the fireplaces would start up and grow more and more intense as the day would go? Yeah. Wait, mm. this wire is cut. Who? Wait, this isn't right. The timer. I made a mistake. This would have gone off early. My god. Boom. I think we can forego having the masks chase you, Boon. There's no need for that anymore. Not here. Lafcadio! What are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. This, I can explain, or rather, I don't remember I need to. 
I'm so sorry, my old friend. I should have told you, but you can be rather proper, no? I'm going to burn this place down. You know I love this place. It's everything. But I love her more. We have a child in the way, you know? And this mansion, the costs, the sheer drain of it. I'm not the young, reckless gambler I used to be, Laffy. I thought you'd be proud. I've locked those demons up tight. No more chasing the high stakes for me. Although I'd, I'd, I will admit this plan was somewhat thrilling. But I timed it so that everyone, everything will detonate once everyone is safely outside. There is one of these devices in every fireplace, and the fireplaces are all connected. But no one will be hurt. But then the darn, it's the darnest thing. This wire here was cut. And I've just noticed a rather terrible mistake. I think if it hadn't been cut, then everything would have gone off early. I can't imagine what would have happened. You see? He never meant it. He never meant to hurt anyone. Please, please stop this torture. E Eleanor? Is that you? No, he did not intend, but he acted. And they died. They all died. He killed them, Boone. He killed everyone he ever cared about. His friends, his own wife, his unborn child. We don't deserve to be forgiven. They don't deserve to be forgotten. Don't you see, Boone? This is how I keep them alive. This party, this day. This party, this day. I keep that agony fresh. I see their faces. I remember them. She would have... Uh, she would have... Let us forgive ourselves. She would let us go. She would have you live. But I am not ready. But I am not ready. It will never be ready. Please, Boone. Boone. Everything you see in this mansion is the memory of a broken man. Reliving, uh, reliving the nightmare of the night he murdered everyone dear to him. One terrible act that he, wishes, uh, he wished he could take back every second that he has lived since. There's only one man responsible for everything happening in this mansion. Lucas. Lucas. And... Lucas. Wait, what? Look how old you have gotten, my love. It's time. You must go see him. It's been more than 40 years, Lucas. You've punished yourself long enough. You almost died when you fell. Then it's, <clears throat> then it's been like you sh stayed alive just to make sure you suffered. You were hospitalized, near dead. You went to prison. 
but it still wasn't enough. We have suffered and missed us, <coughs> suffered and missed us every day. We aren't here to forgive you, Lucas. You will never have that. We are gone, and we cannot say the words. You cannot ever know if we would say those words. But as much as you have hated yourself, you, was always, you have always known one thing. In your heart of hearts, you know that I would not have wanted you to suffer forever. One day, enough would be enough. Today can be that day, Lucas, if you want. If you are ready. You don't have to forget. You only have to forgive yourself just enough to live. His very appearance is painful for me to look at. Just as my appearance is painful for you. He is the king of this mansion. He is perhaps the purest uh, glimpse into your soul, my love. Frail, ragged, lone, but beyond powerful. Enough rage and pain and grief to destroy and rebuild this mansion a hundred thousand times over. Trapped down here, watching his friends murdered over and over and over through these mirrors. He is king of this mansion, but a puppet king. It's time to release him from this torment. Take your mask, Lucas. It will return every aspect of yourself. Then, let us go. Let us all go. It doesn't mean you forget. I love you. There is one other option. Walk away. Use the watch. Turn back time. Let the party start again. We will all be here. Your friends will be here. Your mansion. Your memories. You don't have to let them go. It is your choice. This place is yours, Lucas. It is horrible and broken and twisted. You don't have to be prisoner here. I loved you. I loved you so much, and you loved me. I know you are sorry. I know it's not enough. But it is done. Let some of the pain go. Live your life. Goodbye, my love. Someone is clearly not happy about this. <laughs> Lock that fucker in. Goodbye, my love. Whatever I am, I am always here. Visit if you want, but don't stay too long. 
It's time to make new memories. Time to live the life you still have. Time to move on, old man. That was the sexy brutale. Yeah, anything unexpected. <laughs> and for people who still are confused about this, yes, this was sort of a. Uh, this was all in Lucas Bonas's mind as he, well, as he lived through life, more survived through life, crushed under the guilt of what he had caused. So yeah, normally I really, really do not like it when a game turns out to be, if a story turns out to be, it was a dream all along, but this was more than a dream. This was a soul torturing himself over and over and over onto infinity. Yeah. I agree with Hilan here. Complete both points. I dislike the it's just a dream. Usually that the rare exception when it can work. But it has it's a thing that has been all used so much as a sheep cop out. But this, I agree, is not one of those. Yeah, you could uh, say that um, this game is more like a character study of grief. Yeah. So again, I'm fully on Hillian's side here, in full agreement. Again, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I think I could not word it better myself. Uh, at least not currently, since I am sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't go too far over time, but one way I have described, yeah, I've heard it described, is that grief is love immortal or immemorial, either of those words. Either way, to grief is to have loved and to love still. Uh, when did uh, it's a dream thing start? Oh, we can... No idea. No idea, yeah. Like, the earliest thing that I can think of is uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, or at least uh, Do must not Doki Doki. Uh, mm, yeah, you, what it's the West nose. knows, as, yeah, what the West knows as uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 was actually a, di a different game that was reskinned to be Mario. Still one of my favorite Mario games from when I played it, because, well, it was still a good platformer. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, at a certain point, people just grew tired of it. And yeah. yeah. This sense, again, I think mean, like it's... They could be something... Someone who did that thing, it was just a dream, when they did... Someone did it, uh, probably good ones. And people try to copy it and miss complete the point and use it for the cheapest reason possible. Yeah. It's just basically just ruined the concept of it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this music <laughs> is. Luckily, I'm too tired to dance to it. To... Damn it, never mind. <laughs> I'd highly yeah, advise looking up the OST pizza. Maybe even buy it if you can. I think it is sold separately from the game. <clears throat> But yeah, just this game, this game is just a little masterpiece. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I don't think that Tequila Works has really surpassed this one yet, though I don't, I haven't really looked up what other games they played other than, well, they <laughs> played Maids, other than Deadlight, which we played before this. <laughs> and quite a jump, huh? <laughs> quite a jump. You yeah. could say a leap of fate. 
Maybe. <laughs> I say that because, well, when Lucas jumped through the clock face, he did the uh, cross like a uh, quote-unquote Lufcadia would do whenever he would hide in a closet. Yeah, it is time for this tale to end and for us to move over here and go look for someone to raid. So, let me bring this forward as yeah, well as you this. Pick this time for I am sleepy. <laughs> and okay. I'm feeling a bit squishy or something. Let's and see. Billy's not happy. We have Armchair General who is playing 30XX. The heck is that? Never heard of that before, so let's go take a peek. I and am okay. sure if I have. Finally a blasted other ad, but still an ad. Uh, let's see, you can't really tell much from the preview. Uh, oh, a platformer. Okay, reminds me of Battery Check from the looks of it, or the limited looks of it in the preview. <clears throat> uh, moving on, we have Reef the Leaf with Breath of Fire 3, Chubbus the Moon Seal with Dead by Daylight, Codenamed Ferret with Xenonauts 2, Nico Silverado is playing League of Legends, uh, Xinebe Ven is playing Handyman Corporation. Okay. What? Let's take a peek here. Okay, it's sort of like a, a simulator game, like a, <clears throat> a house flipping uh, starts, house flipper and such. Uh, Theory Pop is playing Bluey the video game. I, I had not expected to uh, learn that uh, to learn that a, <laughs> there was a, just a newly massively popular and actually really high quality in most well, storytelling. Uh, kids game a uh, kids show out these days and <laughs> I did not expect it to come out of Australia either and uh, yeah that show now has a video game pizza <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you had someone to suggest uh, can you put their name up before I kind of missed it earlier uh, I'll still go through the rest of the list just to give them a little showcase Lashris is playing Super Mario Bros Wonder okay I'm nice with Animal Crossing Broadcast with Halo Infinite, which I hear is on Death's Door, or at least heading towards the graveyard at the very least. Because, well, Bungie is fucking stuff up. <clears throat> Smoops on the Nonsense with Stellaris. And last but not least, we have Halloween with Alan Wake 2. Now, who is that suggested? Let's see. Anxi Etty Diagnosed. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Da, 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 da. What are they uh, just chatting at the moment? Okay. Hi with anxiety. Plushy Pixie, CEO Biro, and Courage Gel featuring alcohol and scuff and tears. Okay. Maybe not the best moment or something to really raid into, but thank you for the suggestion, all the same pizza. I'll probably take a look at them <clears throat> in my private time sometime. But for now. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go raid Lashris, I'd say. All right. After all of that heavy stuff, I think we all deserve a bit of lightheaded, uh, light, not lightheaded, light, <laughs> lighthearted fun. Though, depending on the kind of shrooms you're smoking, you could get lightheaded as well. Oh, okay. Good gods. Copy the name. Head over to our place and slash raid, paste. But before we start, of course, uh, let's see. But well, been fun chatting. Hope to see you soon. Remember to stay hydrated. Yeah, that's why I have a liter and a half bottle of water next to the <laughs> next to the monitor here. <laughs> and thank you for Your being here as always, okay. pizza. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, pizza. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, uh, Pika, as well. And I see Sensei is lurking again. <laughs> and thank you, as always, Drakir. You welcome always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And yeah, I, I hope I at least did this little masterpiece justice. And I, I really suggest people to just play it themselves as well. And if wanted, we could do an extra stream, maybe not like a mainstream like this, but just a stream where we go over all of the lore and such of the place and of the characters and such. I'll be up for that. 
when we'll have to see maybe next week on this same time slot but we'll just have to see for now though tomorrow we have showcase sunday hopefully more la noir uh, either way though thank you all again for watching let's get this raid started and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone, sleep well, watch out for undead seagulls, and I got that barrel of water to throw it away. <laughs> and until next time everyone. <laughs> Be safe.